everyone, this is Nina here with Hero Smart Homeschool Academy. <clears throat> Welcome to class. We are in social studies class. We are in a new division of social studies. We just finished geography. Do you remember geography? Did you have a lot of fun? I did too. We're moving right along into history. We're going to do a little, just a brief history of the United States of America and its origins. Let's begin though with our word of prayer. We've been doing the high five prayer. If you need your... <clears throat> Prayer guideline, you may turn to page 53 and follow that guide to help remember how to pray. If you're ready, here we go. We thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Father, for your mercy over our lives. We come before you, Lord, just, just wanting to know you better, wanting to seek your face and get closer to you. Lord, <clears throat> we want to lift up in prayer all those who are closest to us in our hearts. We want to lift up our, our family members, our brothers and sisters. We want to lift up our our friends, Lord, we also want to lift up our spiritual family, those belonging to the household of faith. <clears throat> Lord, we ask you to provide for them spiritual wisdom so they can know your will better, spiritual energy, which is the grace of God, so they will do your will in the name of Jesus. We also, Lord, want to pray for all those who instruct us and who guide us along the way. We pray for our parents. We pray for our teachers and our. we pray for our pastors and all those people who give us the, the truth of your words so that we are instructed in your path. We lift them up before you, asking you, Father, for wisdom and for strength in Jesus' name. <clears throat> we also pray, Lord, for those who uh, are leaders in the world. Lord, we uh, lift up all of our <clears throat> all of our leaders, uh, from our president to his counselors to leaders all over the world. Father, we ask you to give them godly wisdom so that they will uh, create godly laws, those that are favorable to your righteous commands in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for those who are weak and sick. <clears throat> we lift them up before you today, Lord, asking you for mercy. Lord, Holy Spirit, please bring them comfort if that's what they need, healing if they need healing. We lift them up before you today, Jesus. Also, <clears throat> we want to lift up all unbelievers. We want to mention in prayer those who do not know God. We pray that they would come to know God and uh, through Jesus Christ, his wonderful son, and <clears throat> that they might share in his glorious and eternity and inheritance in the name of Jesus. Finally, Lord, we pray for ourselves. We ask you, Father, for mercy for us. We, Lord, we ask you and beseech your face for more wisdom so that we can know you better and to, to please you more through the grace of God you provide to us in our spirits. We give you thanks, Lord, for all things, creator of heaven and earth, who is to be adored forevermore. Your name be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, simple prayer, just about a minute or so, maybe a minute and a half, and you can pray for every major group that God has told us to pray for every day. Um, a good way to remember that, page 53, <clears throat> if you have that there. We are going to um, read, we've been reading from our New England Primer. In the past, we read the Creed that's here. I thought it was really, really great. Since we were beginning a new division, <clears throat> I thought we'd read another portion from this book that I think you might enjoy as I have. It is um, the love for God. Here we go. It goes, love God with all your soul and strength with all your heart and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Be faithful, just and kind. Deal with another as you'd have another deal with you. What you're willing to receive, be sure. What you're unwilling to receive, be sure you never do. And that's a really good model to live by. Whatever you're unwilling to receive, make sure you don't, you don't give that to someone else. And I think that's really great. That is um, Matthew 22, 37 through 40 that they're highlighting. <clears throat> Jesus says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, body, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. And so that's a great way to keep that in mind. Today, we're talking about history. The very first thing we're going to talk about in history class, the history portion of social studies, is, well, the origin of this wonderful country we live in. <clears throat> we, most of us, live in the United States of America. We've looked at the United States using our map that was here before in lesson one. We've looked at the United States on our globe. Um, we've looked at the United States even in our workbook. <clears throat> if you have your workbook, you may turn to the very first worksheet and you should have access to the, to the um, country there, to the picture of the country. 
Um, now we're going to talk about well, how did it all get here? You know, we we're we're here. We know God created the whole earth, but you know, how did we come to be where we are today? Well, that's a good question, and that's what history is all about. History is trying to find out what happened. You know, looking into the past to find out truths about what happened and before, so that you have knowledge of it. You can repeat the good and disown or regard disregard the the bad. So <clears throat> the United States of America, the 50 states of the United States of America was, um, was actually occupied very, very long ago, long before the European settlers got here. It was occupied by a group of people we call Native Americans. Native Americans, you, uh, they're also called Indians, Native Americans. They're the people who, who are here and they cultivated the land. The land, the land was beautiful and, and lush and um, full of health and vibrancy. The people here, they ate a little bit differently than the Europeans. The Indians dressed a little bit differently than the Europeans, but they had been here for many, many years. Um, many people think that they were scattered here after the Tower of Babel. The scriptures talk about the Tower of Babel, which if you're going through Bible reading, you've read about the Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel, um, a group of people tried to get together and actually the whole world to build a tower up to heaven. And God said, no, you can't do that. And what did he do? He mixed up their languages and he scattered them all over the earth. So at that point, you had people leaving that um, the area they were before and were scattered all over the world. And one place they were scattered to was here in the Americas and uh, North America and South America. And those people who came here were Native Americans and their traditions, their culture was, was different. And, um, but we were grateful that they were here because they taught the Europeans who were to come later a lot about the land and a lot about how to grow food and, and how to, how to, how to live and, and to continue cultivating the land. So Native Americans discovered, if you will, the United, the, what we call today, the United States of America or the North American continent. So the Native Americans were here and they uh, lived wonderful lives and a lot of them are still in the United States of America even and they still live uh, lives full of vibrancy and health and so we give thanks to God for their lives. If you like you may turn to page 22 in your workbook you can read the synopsis there and complete the exercises there also <clears throat> and before we go away I want to I'm going to talk about the letter of the day the letter of the day is I. Let's see what I stands for. I is for, it is good for me to draw near unto God. It is good for me to draw near unto God. Is it good? It is good. I would suggest you take the rest of the week to meditate on the scripture and find out what does it mean to draw near unto God? How do I draw near unto God? Hmm. If it's good for me to do it, then that means I should do it. But how? So that's what I want you to ponder on the rest of the week. Thank you so much for coming to class and for being a part of today's lesson. Until next time. I'll be your hero's body and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you worry.